I just pulled it right here and you already see the solution to the problem. <laughs> You probably found this video while scrolling through the worldwide interwebs looking for a solution for your green color cast problem. So I've got a solution for you. Just a five minute video tutorial, not, not, not like special lighting in my studio, just a, a simple video to show you guys how to solve the problem of an extreme green color cast. Let's jump in the computer and I'll show you how to do it. So right now we're in my computer. So this is a raw file, I especially for this um, solution of, for this video, I, I took a photo of myself using my two Pavo tubes from Nonlight. Very great products to make light. They're in the description if you like to buy them. I made green light. There's no other light in my studio than green light. Everything's dark, just green. So how do I solve the problem? Because if I use my color picker, that's the thing you mostly use, you can see it doesn't really solve the problem because the color picker um, can uh, not everything is is uh, you can help with with white balance because this is uh, such a screen color it isn't in the white balance spectrum that's the problem but the color is still there you can see this that there's red so what are we going to do well it's very simple um well i'm a guy who likes to type in his numbers because that's what i do mm, yeah i'll just put this a little bit down like this, yeah. So, already tried to put the white balance in a certain way that it already looks a little bit towards the color I like. So, then I'm going to pop my contrast up, because, well, a little less, I like my contrast in the photos. Uh, throw my highlights up a little bit. Especially for this video, I will use my mouse instead of typing stuff. Little pop for the portrait so here comes the very important stuff so the thing with the color cast is when you got a color cast problem normally people use like you learn the s curve thing when you're color grading use an s curve and change stuff and make a photo better but it doesn't really solve the problem because we got an extreme color cast and extreme problem needs an extreme measurements to get it right so the opposite color of green is magenta or pink, like or purple, I don't know how you like it, like to call it, but magenta. And then I just pull it right here and you already see the solution to the to the problem, where we can do it better. So because it's very sensitive, you can hold your option or your control key on your, uh, on your Windows computer. Just pull it right here like this. Look at the calling getting better. So still we got a lot of red in the... Uh, oh, sorry, it's a little bluish tone as you can see in my shirt. So I will use it also to make the color a little bit better, like this. A lot better. Then I use the contrasts. And again, I put a point in the middle. That's the thing you always do with the contrast, but I'm not going to make an S curve. I'm going to make a, I don't know, a W, more like a W, something like this. And I pull this one also down. Now this feels very, very strange, like this. I want my photo to be a little more contrasty. Yeah, perfect. Then I go to the calibration. Most people go to color mix, so I always go first to the calibration. So I'm not going to touch these colors. I'm only going to touch the bottom ones. And I'm going to put this one to minus... Like this. And this one I go put up. Like this. And now I'm going to use the color mixer. Most colors, color cast problems i don't use the color mixer because it's enough with the, the calibration or the the tone curves but in this case i'm going to use the color mixer uh, to get it right so the thing you can do is hold your if you grab your saturation picker and just put it on the skin and throw it up so mix all and you can see which colors it are like these two colors um i want to Mm, go with a little bit lower with well i also want to use this one why doesn't he use this one throw it up a little bit 14 mm. this one up a little bit 50 let's do it let's do it same with luminance you can do it like this go up but go down doesn't pick any every color so i'm gonna a little bit down minus eight Hmm, 21, 20, like this. So you can see the skin is already way, 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 way better. 
So these don't, we don't need the color grading options. And you see the skin is already, already way, way better than it was in the beginning. So maybe too much contrast going on. So to separate the color, because now you're watching a video, you, know, you see it go from green to orange. I'm going to make a mask. You don't have to do this, but that's what I do. Select uh, object. I was gonna, probably going to choose me. Oh, sorry, I chose the wrong one. What was I thinking? Select subjects. This, and I invert it. And to give, show you guys that the light was green, I'm going to pull it up quite extensively to make it go green. And my skin, I can tweak it because normally uh, I like my skin to be a little bit orange. Um, you can tweak it, just as you can see. Normally I take a little bit more time to make it perfect, but just a quick tutorial. Um, if you crunch in these numbers in your uh, Lightroom and you tweak them, you'll be golden to solve your problem. Um, there's still green in the photo because I like to show off with the, the green color in the photo. Um, you can, I've made the skin quite orange. You can make it less orange. Uh, depends on what you, what you want to do with the photo. But this is a solution. So if you want to see more of, of my color cast problem solving solutions or want to look behind the scenes on my camera, and I share a lot of tips and tricks, uh, go have a look on my channel. Also, I do a lot of Instagram. Check out my Instagram channel. I'll put it right here somewhere. Uh, see what, I, what kind of photos I do and also share a lot of YouTube stuff there. And I like to get people involved in the work I do. So if you have questions about things I should make a video about, I share that on, on Instagram. Please check it out and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.